Big Black versus JDR coming up first. So uh, these players, you know, you're probably familiar with them. Right. Uh, Big Black in particular has been winning a lot of tournaments throughout, um, you know, the last couple years of uni. Yep. Uh, you know, came out originally first as Net Play Monster God, then showing up offline, uh, winning a ton of stuff. You know. Yeah. Uh, Byakuya still being piloted and. That character went a lot in the last couple of years. We're going to see how he fares in Uni 2 against JDR. Yeah, versus JDR also just pretty much played hide almost the entire time yep. through Uni's lifespan and is really one of the players to look forward to. I really like that we're already seeing him using the new Fireball, which yes. is, I think, done a lot actually just like controlling hide space in front of him without having to take as much risk as he used to. Yeah, um, he historically sometimes has trouble getting zoned out a little bit, you know, because normally his Fireball itself not the best full screen control option, but the new ones is it goes across the whole screen. So and a it's lot of durability huge. is huge. Uh, so a very solid option. Honestly, both these characters got basically one new move. Mm -hmm. And other than that didn't change too much. So we're able to watch some pretty classic game players here. Big Black has some uh, great great control right now on a light fleet. So I like this look for him. Just setting up the web. This is the same kind of thing as before. And while the web has gotten a little bit of adjustments, um, this character's playstyle fairly unchanged. So you're looking for Byakuya to get the opponent into the corner, run the web super, and try to go for the mix-ups. Yeah, that is oh. what the new move. So down, down. Oh, no. Uh, down, down is the new move that Byakuya has. It really does help some of his offense options and gives him a, a couple new uh, choices to do. Uh, you know, it, it is minus, but not super duper minus. So you know, you're, you're going to see Big Black use it, uh, especially in pressure sometimes. And yeah, again, hide. Not too much different as well. Just, just that big fireball. Big fireball is huge, though. But this is kind of high versus Bianca, kind of as we know it. That is a lot of grid. Uh, <laughs> thanks to the new mechanic, yes, Celeste. You have uh, six grid when you win the cycle. You actually get the full 12. You get so much more meter, meter now, but might not matter here. Big black. Yeah. Oh, this is this is dead. Yeah, not only do you get all of that meter, but you also get a 20% damage boost instead of the 10% yeah. that normal Vorpal does. So yeah. you will do huge damage if you get a hit while you're in it. That and then, uh, in general, not only do you get more meter per block when you chain shift, but uh, IW also does a lot more damage now. Yeah. So the combination of all these effects is like, I think the big thing to take away if you don't know the difference between like old Uni and Uni 2 is that it is a lot more volatile for a lot of different reasons. The defensive options, a little more simplistic, a little uh, easier to crush. And at the same time, people do more damage on average, for sure. JDR here just fishing with the dash C. Yeah, really appreciate JDR. It's actually like backdashing and then just going into a dash C, which is going to be really hard yeah. for Byakuya to contest. But Big Black's doing really well to down back and not overextend. And then once he gets the hit, he knows he can take him full screen yeah, into the corner, get the setup, and then it's the same game. Yeah, like you said, all the way corner to corner here for Big Black. And this situation, not a great one, but wow, what a sweep from JDR. Isn't able to convert it, but oh, big Ooh. hit, yeah. Yeah, big 6B starter. One of Hyde's best. Oh, almost getting the full combo, but the positioning is still really good. The fireball, if spaced perfectly, I think could be very slightly plus, but I know our range is minus, and obviously, uh, Byakuya has some pretty solid normals to contest here, so we have to see. This is going to take Ogi, doesn't think he can kill Garen. Yeah, you can see down, down as a way to uh, meaty off of the web trap now, and you're kind of far away. I, th I think uh, just because you're forced to block the web afterwards, you're still going to be plus. Right. So but it's still nice. really good to, to, during the web setup, just get people to down back, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Probably just slightly less risky than uh, you know, meeting with 2B or 2C. Right. Ogo back out of the corner here. Yeah, GDR is doing really well to get Big Black in the corner. It's just not, in this point, he's not opening him up. Yeah, I mean, what it comes down to is grid control, right? Look how huge this is going to be for Big Black here, because we had six blocks, so we're in the Celeste. We have 200 meter. We dumped some of it. We're just, we, we might see something chain shifted here just to get all this meter. Like, I don't even know what's going to be here, but yeah, yeah there it is. There it is yeah. This is going to do a, quite a chunk. If he takes a knockdown here, it'll be one touch to kill. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't going to kill with Ooh. IW, so he's just going to go for another mix-up, and that is going to be it. One of the things I think we'll see with Celestial is yeah. that I, I think... Uh, oh, man, he changed his name. He's... <laughs> A little bit un unfortunate. He's dying like he knows he can hear me, but Uni 2 player, um, previously Unist player, previously Shaquille Uniel, uh, now going by Uni 2 player. Gotta love it. Uh, yeah, again, versus Understar, Star Understar. 
Yeah, it's Sarge is here. Also, yeah. played Gordo so, the entire time. So, and... um, I have not seen a Uni 2 player play Gordo, so I, I thought he was just playing Eldem, but looks like he's, he wants to play the mirror here. So we'll see how this goes. But right now, did just barely win Vorpal. Try and force the situation here. Oh, gets a huge hit. Nice side swap. What are we going to do here with Vorpal? Oh, no. Oh, oh nice my god, no way! Oh! Okay, that's really great news for Uni2 here. A uh, one touch maybe can kill depending on what it is here. Yeah, the 2 2 A stuff ain't gonna change shift. Doesn't matter what you do there. Wow, Uni2 turning it back. What a turnaround. And you thought that Star had a chance because he just barely yeah. won CS and then. Uh, I mean, wake up assimilation, honestly. Like, I mean, he really did <laughs> earn that round. He did do wake up assimilation. That's so. true. Uh, he definitely earned it. Uh, well, yeah, you need two player. Eating, wake up, yes, command grab, start to score. Definitely favoring that option here. Gonna have to let you need two player get four both finds the hit again, though. You need two player trying to do something there. And that's that's not what we want to be. He does have chain shift and gonna let it rock in. <laughs> Just EX command grab, like for don't like. do it again. Yeah, I mean, it, it, okay, wow. Well, we, we like being in Bail Off. We're pretty happy to see this here. The mirror is very funny. Like, Sly is actually kind of an awkward situation to deal with as Gordo. Uh, you know, you don't have, like, the best mid-range options, so if you block the sweep with a dip like that, it's kind of kind of awkward. This, this is what we call footsies. Oh! Oy. oh yeah, he gambled the reverse, but he didn't want that roll, probably. And now, Uni2 player, yes, does get the trade. Should be it. Wow! Uni2 player is Gordo? And a very clean Gordo at that, versus a Gordo main. Like, Star's played it as slow as long as I can remember. Yeah, I don't remember... Um, how often Uni2 player has busted out Gordo in, you know, on stream in a bracket. But it's looking really good right now. Yeah, but they are going back and forth. It's just like Uni player is kind of making that one decision towards the very end that's winning them the game. And, but Star is, they're, they're going to protect almost. So, pressure on Uni's side though that time. Oh, all right, that is footsies. <laughs> <laughs> That is indeed what he's here. Uh, Star underscore has to, you know, respect this chain shift. Chooses not to use meter. So, I like that. Yeah, keeps the pressure going and uses CS really early in the cycle oh, no. so they can play for it a little bit more. Yeah, 6B actually catching back. That's pretty huge. The reset here, Uni 2 player. Uh, we do have enough meter. Can probably, maybe not CB. Oh, oh. what a no. Uh, all right, well, chance here for Star Underscore. He does have 200. Plenty of time on the clock. Oh, oh. It just whiffed! Uh, Cycle with the Sims gonna take it for Star Underscore. Now this is really good. If you land a hit here, the right hit can oh. probably kill. Absolutely now with the trade. You dash FF. Whoa! Oh. Whoa, you, you gotta calm down, bro. You gotta calm down a little bit. Uh, yeah, Star Underscore, unfortunately, was so close to taking that round. Okay. Yeah, it took a, a hefty gamble at the very end there, and it did not pay yeah. off. I mean, I like the dash FF. We haven't really seen it that much. I think Gordo players have varying. Uh, uh, that is that is a funny thing. That that is a thing. <laughs> Assault J and landing on the other side. Keeps pressure with CS. Yep. The Uni two player playing kind of patient. We're gonna win Vorpal here, so we don't need to do anything. Yep. Yeah, even the constraint not gonna help here. And again, in that mirror, fourth function gets eaten though by Mortal and Star. Looking to close this out and see if he needs resources. Doesn't need resources. That's pretty good. All right. Round three, both players with full tanks. Gordo, though, I mean, you, you can use EX like this to stay plus, but it's probably not the most egregious kind of meter usage. So, yeah, having, having meter is not that big of a deal, I feel like, in this mirror. We've seen a lot of just like EX command ground, you know. Yeah, what's funny is that in the beginning of the set, they were actually saving meter for EX assimilation, yeah. and now neither of them are saving it for their wake-ups anymore. They're just spending it on pressure because it's just been really hard to open each other up. Oh, oh this barely doesn't connect, but that will work. Reaper C aim confirm here. Yeah, Uni2 player has CS. Uh, can we get something? Okay, Star, finally too afraid of the command grab. Hits by the meaty. And one more hit maybe for Uni2 player. Oh no! Very dangerous. There's a bail off. 
There's oh. a return bill off. That's. I, I, I won't say anything here. I'm say, oh, <laughs> no! No, no! Anything you can do. Oh, you need two player. Oh! Just barely wins Vorpal. You need two player. Only needs one more hit. Whoa, no! Tried to shield dash scene to interrupt. Uh, but no! Oh, couldn't confirm it, but yeah. it has him in the corner. That star underscores is doing all the monkey business now. Gets the whiff, assault in the throw. Not it enough to hit, but are we gonna see us the reset? What is it gonna be? Okay, blocks the overhead, so the reset doesn't work, and there it Woo! is. Wow, yeah. You need to player. Damn, he yeah, has stay, a good Staying calm. What do they think about other characters, or what do they think about the new mechanics? What do they value? What do they don't value? And uh, I'm really excited to see, like, look through this whole tournament and what people think is yeah. good. People got to place their bets, you know, buy the right yeah. stocks. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's, you know, market's unknown right now for this game. That's what you could say. Uh, we got Wang playing the Kotsky versus Shining Spear's Lawn. So it's going to be an interesting one here. Shining Spear. Off to a good start. Playing the SES, so we can get out of the corner if we want to, probably. What are we going to do here? Dashbox are way out. Yeah, Shining Spear, respecting, backed off a little bit, and Twang, just no hesitation, getting out of the corner. Such a good spot to be in that big oh. ring break. Yeah, going to secure the next cycle. Uh, this is a great spot for Twang. Can do whatever we want here now, yeah. The triple throw, not going to work out here. And uh, Twang, forced to hold some pressure from Shining Spear, but the CSDP, the classic. Yeah, yeah, big lead there for Twang. Yeah, very difficult to play when you're you're getting pressured by Akatsuki in the corner with no grid or having being broken. I mean, it, it, it's very tough. But he started off very strong. He got him exactly where he wanted him in the corner. You just have to follow up afterwards. But Twang finds the first big hit of the second round. Yeah, blocked the rack up, took his turn. Gets a nice hit from Assault, and now... Oh! It looked like he got us. And Tech. But... I don't know what that was going on here. Twang's still us. Yes, we might, we might use it here. Oh, actually, grids to secure the cycle. I like it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Side switch. So yeah. You can get the positioning. DP's on wake up. Nice tech. Great control here from Twang has been really solid. No EX. The hesitation, though, both players, the stare down, Shining Spear comes out ahead. A lot of respect. Oh, yeah. great reaction. He's gonna get a lot of this meter back I mean, as well. Dead, yeah. Oh, he's dead! Yeah, he's dead. Nice. IWs do more damage. <laughs> I forgot. I, mean, I think the IW just the raw did. I think I don't know if the actual base raw IW do more, but I didn't actually get to see how much that actually did. It was like 4.2 or something. Huh. I don't actually remember how how much damage raw. I feel like IW it wasn't that much. Well, I mean, me talked to IW did about that much, so I, I oh, think, yeah. 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 I think, I think it might. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Shining Spear in trouble. Twang is just playing so good right now. Oh, yeah, the way you're going. Not going to work out. Try to gamble on the DP. The panic button in. Shining Spear has done a lot on wake up in the corner. Like, he's kind I mean, of. You don't want to be in the corner versus the You don't want to. Like, yeah, that is true. That it's is not true. a fun place to be. But Karen Twang made a great read there. Yeah. Akatsuki kind of a demon in the corner. You really don't want to deal with it. Okay. Oh, got thrown out of 6C. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, nice. It's a lot of screen carry. Yeah, I could use the super yeah, so you get a more. great knockdown. Oh! Okay. Yeah, like my Shining Spear says, I don't actually want to be right in front of you. This is <laughs> not desirable. Oh, no. Oh. Hops over the low. The kill? Definitely, right? Yeah. Oh, oh that's okay, right. Okay, yeah. Okay. So that's one of the things you can do. A new mechanic, A, B, uh, gives you this shortcut that's kind of a sort of a special move, I guess. I mean. Oh, yeah. that I didn't know. Uh, but, you know, I haven't gotten to see too much either. This is a treat for both uh, you guys at home and us. Is like, again, this is week one of the game. Right. And there's a lot of, you know, new stuff going on. Uh, Rockhawk playing Yakia. And, you know, that uh, we, we've seen this character a lot. I, I don't think this character got too much, like, you know, super new. But Nihilda certainly... Uh, we, we see the funny the funny move that well, we might be in for a treat here, but that is only if Untold Melody actually gets a chance to do anything here uh, because Byakuya, of course, is going to put you in the corner, going to make the webs, and uh, you're not going to have a good time. Uh-oh. So that was the really interesting. We, <laughs> we, we, saw, uh, we saw Big Black not too long ago actually meaty every single time yeah, with this new two, move. Two. This, this time, 
uh, you know, this time Rock Hawk just going for like the hard bait. You know, yeah. Right up doing nothing. So. Uh oh. Yeah, this is Hilda Gaming. Just hold on to this meter. Oh no. Yeah, and Melody already has 200, so they can set up some really dirty pressure later yeah, on. Yeah, there it is. It's still, the classic is. You know what? I want my, I want my favorable situation now. I want to spend meter and just make it happen now. Okay, we're just walking back to mid-screen concentrate. Yeah, Rock Hawk a little slow oh. on the up, on the uptake there. Uh, <laughs> tried to try to tell you concentrate and things like that, but not gonna work out. But there's a nice pickup. So. Uh, we're, we're, we're totally fine here as Biakia. Yeah, and during this cycle, they're going to win. And then afterwards, being able to set up. It's a really, really good position for Rock Hawk here. Yeah, kind of some just aggressive frame trapping going on. And uh, Untold Melody, at least, was able to deal with all the webs. And we have uh, you know, Celeste here. All right. One more touch. There's Mix. Yeah. Yeah, That's that a grody situation, actually, because, um, you know, Gloom, historically, that like the Gloom setups in the, the mix-up, it's like there's a little bit of a mind game. The defender can uh, tech right. in certain directions and yeah. try to escape it. Uh, but I like the situation where you you actually set the, the underground spikes and yeah, you confirm confirm a meaty or something, and then you right. go into it. From it. That's actually pretty slick. When I recognized that the, the new A plus B gave a lot of people like a lot of uh, time to set up stuff, Hilda was my first thought, actually. I was like, uh -huh. oh, you set up this tracks. It gives you a nice knockdown, and then you get to do whatever you want afterwards from full screen. And there's going to be very rare situations where a character can do anything about it from that range. So, and, and definitely Byakia can. Yeah. And uh, Rockhawk there actually doing a good job of using the new role to try to escape uh, the mix-up. Still had to block, but you know, didn't have to deal with the 50-50 there. We're, now we're here, where we want to be. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Calm down. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we're going to need one more after this, but it's Byakia, so this is, you know, it's a throw to kill, I think. So what are we going to be here? Okay, bail off! On top Melody, yeah, we still got more. Throw something. There, there's, here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I blocked it. Oh, empty alone. it's a teleport. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, You're that's dead. so <laughs> dirty. God bless 50-50s. I told Melody's thinking. They're like, yes. Yes, I did it. I chose low. Let's go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I agree. I agree. I'd feel good, too. It's like, I chose low. <laughs> That is genuinely one of the scariest things about playing against Hilda is that they're, they're, the character genuinely has 50-50 that are like yeah. incredibly hard to deal with. And there isn't a lot of characters that get to set it up as like cleanly as she does. Yeah, I mean, that was from Bail Off, right? So that's, right. I, I don't think people realize it's like, that was a reversal, that was deep, that was a DP into, I'm gonna full screen force mix up with, uh, with two supers. So, yeah. you know, pretty good, pretty good. You know, I wish my DB did that. However, Rockhawk has been getting like good hits, oh! has been able to set up. It just hasn't been like that last bit that's necessary. Like that right there, unfortunately. That was weird. I Rockhawk, I think they uh they forced them to see us too early, so it's like, I'm gonna do the overhead, you can see it. Uh except, yeah, cancel even too early. This is a hard knockdown, like you say before, the A B knockdown. Tried to hard read, I guess, on the roll or something, I'm not sure. Oh! We like to see the NCRs. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can do it again. Gloom, gloom. Took, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. The third gloom, uh, just defensive gloom here. We get this anti-air, very clean. Okay, Untold Melody, looking good. Yeah, a yeah. lot of defensive glooms and just kind of like asking the opponents to come at them. Oh no! The round start, a hard call on like a dash. I probably either dash B or dash C both lose that neutral jump there. So, like to see it. <laughs> and yeah, Untold Melody is saying, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna win CS, and now I get to put the car down. But uh, it's like it does go away there. So the EX spike actually doing a good job. Yeah, and wins cycle as well. So you're getting to the corner, you have 100 meter, you have the cycle. It's a really good position for Rockhawk. All right. I feel like Rockhawk has been kind of flubbing his Oki here. I'd love to, okay, there we go. Yeah, I'd love to see this pay off. I feel like last couple times, right. uh, they kind of just messed up. I mean, they got failed off last time to losing the game. So, uh, wait a minute. No, wait, bro, bro. <laughs> okay, wait. well, we he, he definitely cashes in on the meter. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I was going to be stressing if uh, 
until Melody, you know, lets it land a veil off or something. And like, uh, I like that though. Your round start F out. Oh, big He's, assault in. Like a lot more uh, FF F uses, so uh, maybe they actually buff that. But I haven't really paid too much attention to the Hilda changes, I will admit. So, EX, yep. Yeah, great position to be in. Just win cycle. This oh, time, there you go. Great going. read. Yep. All right. This is looking close to close to over here. If you can just get one more hit, finish it off. You maybe have to be a little careful about the fail off, but uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Until Melody, not sure what they are going for there, but probably just tried to gamble. We're in a good spot, so sometimes, you know, I, I mean, so first of all, there is a thing where if you uh, press the right button, you can just try and clear the webs on Wake Up if you don't think they're going to meet you. So just to, just to read that, there was no meaty coming, but didn't work out. But now we're 1 1. Yeah, great round from Rockhawk. Great use of uh, CS at the very end there, because the cycle was almost up. There might have been a reason Untold Melody might have not thought yeah. they would have spent it at that moment. But again, great start from Rockhawk. Gets that first big hit, wins the first cycle. Yeah, the, actually, this is funny. So you end in 2-2 as this character. Against a lot of mid-range characters, they can't really do that much, even though you're minus. But Hilda's is like, well, actually, I reached over there. So yeah. <laughs> it's actually my turn. When I, when I block a spike, it's actually just my turn now. And into the mix. Yeah, so that's a new change. If you shield the high option, uh, Hilda's not allowed to really do anything. So if you want to gamble on the shield, oh, okay. you get the big reward for actually blocking right. without the overhead. So that, that is, if I recall, a big change. And Oh, frame traps Ooh. opening up onto Melody. And wow, just like that, a match point for Rock Hawk. It wasn't looking good early on, but uh, really turned the corner with, I think, the. Whoa! Yeah. Um, wow, round starts from Until Melody doing really good. But yeah, it's been Rock Hawk's ability to make this web Oki pay off now. It's been the yeah. really deciding factor now. But we haven't seen Until Melody uh, land a solid hit. If they do, though, you know, we, we can go back into the Hilda zone. And. Oh, oh, it's really not confirming, yeah. Confirm. Yeah, I guess like the air hit there. Not not comboing, but here it comes. Yeah. Oh. So that's the thing, it's like, man, if even if you block that, you're plus a feeling until the Oh Lee. You gotta calm down. We got the full tank here for a rock hawk, but it's not gonna matter. We're going into nice. final round here. Yeah, Untold Melody used pretty much every other time that they've used Gloom defensively and use it against Rock Hawk towards the end there. But Rockhawk with 200 meter already to start oh, the round. No. Great shield, though. <laughs> yeah, both these players, they just really want to get something started, right? Great control, though. Oh, the green shield from Rockhawk gives Untold Melody. Oh, and the juicy hit. All right, we like this here. A lot of meter. Let's do it. Oh, oh. goes low for the first time no! on that. Drops the combo. Just gonna set up. What's make going sure you on? Cycle. Air blockable. That should be it. Oh yeah, keeping it super easy. I love to see it. Yes. No way to drop that. Very nice. Very nice. Great showing from Rockhawk though. I think oh. it's, it's because of um, he's got this <laughs> J2C that's a very similar kind of plunge thing. He's like when you charge it, it turns into the skateboard. That you, oh. Yeah, so okay, very goofy. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, Ryer though uh, got chaos. Chaos got. A lot of changes too, and I'll admit to not even knowing all of them, but uh, we do we do have a new role. So a big thing is that the role is different. So role is no longer force function. So the way you set up cross ups right. is pretty different, and uh, I think it's the mainly because obviously we have a universal role now. Yeah. So that's good. They have the foresight to think like, oh, this, this kind of overlaps with one another. Right. So right. Let's give him something new, and that way he has he has something different that he oh, can use. No. Yeah, Tsurugi, new character. It's a lot going on, but you know, he's, he's kind of a big boy with a big shield. He's got a command grab. He's got a very funny force function where he enters a shield state, mm -hmm. can do stuff during a uh, hit stop of the opponent. And that, that, that dash be pretty good, too. It's easy to confirm off of it. Right now, though, we're not really getting to see much of it because uh, Ryer, oh, OK, yeah, uses the shield. So again, that, that shield stance loses cool. to lows, but you can act during it. You have a bunch of follow-ups. Full combo here from Rakir. A lot of corner carry. Uh oh, yeah, a little bit too hard to chase the back deck though. Rising JA from Ryer. He's gonna go all the way across the screen. Ozzy have a fire move now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ozzy, Ozzy's got Ozzy kind of cooking now. He's, he's got what? a lot of moves. But uh, dash to AA here from Rakir. Gonna try and take back this life lead here. He still has to respect chain shift. Yep. 
Oh my oh. god, wow, that was the hard read. Yeah, I like that I like that read though, because that's the, I chain shifted, you bait it, but now I'm gonna DP. <laughs> uh, oh no, not enough to close it out, but okay. Frame traps. We're here, getting back into it, so. Third round. We haven't really seen too much from Sugi. That is a good Ooh. move though, yep. 2C, so 2C, uh, it's a pretty, pretty legit sweep that can be charged. So it's a little easier to frame trap, and of course it has guard point on it. So you'll just eat people's mash for breakfast with this move. Rolls out of the corner. Great use of roll actually there. Yeah, Burkir okay, yeah. continues the pressure, gets another hit, has 200 on it, and yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's definitely gonna kill, all right. <laughs> Getting caffeinated. So Burkir takes the first game. Um, yeah, that, that 2C though. Really carried that that last round. It's a, it's a very good button. Reverse beats minus one, if I recall. So really solid even on block. Oh my Oy. god! Uh, so I believe that is the a shield fallout where you kind of go into this assault arcing jump. It can also cross up. So it's, it's a little goofy. Uh, but Ryer here patiently gets the punish. Nice. Ooh. Oh, almost got the pickup as well. Yeah, Rakir also used to play Chaos back in the day, so though the character is pretty different from the era he played the character, and I'd imagine he's uh, a lot less intimidated fighting this character than maybe some other people are. But the challenge here from Ryer, we're gonna have this mix. So there is CS though, uh, and also Rakir, like Tsugi, has a DP on access, so yeah, you, you can't really do much about that, but I like Ryer just playing around that very easily with the sandwich. Okay. All right, tags Ozzy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So that 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 surfboard jump move. Yeah. That's a force function follow up, and it's it very consistently creates an awkward situation where you jump over them. And he's got some pretty big air normal, so you you have to kind of respect it if you if you're not able to hit him out of it. I, I like the reads from Rakir here, just trying to smell out these green shields a little bit. Um, that's plus. Yeah, dash oh. B. Oh, whoa. You gotta be careful, bro. This is kind of not, not a great spot here. Oh, God. Yeah, I got hit. And the command grab. Yeah, it gets it to work. The, the mental the stack. Yeah, yeah, there's just too much too much stress going on there. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. One of the things I can see Rakir carry over from Enkidu is he's really good at being in people's faces and pressuring. Yep. And that's one of the things you needed as Enkidu, and he, didn't, he was the best at it. So Yeah, slick defense here from Ryer, though. Like, I, I like that jump out of the corner. That is, wow. Very fast, uh, quick punish here on the stand shield from Rick here and blocks <gasps> the dead angle. Yeah. Oh, okay, this time we just press out. Yeah. Not gonna, not gonna let him get away with that anymore. What? Oh. Yeah, it's like, what is Ozzy doing? <laughs> He's, he is like the, the first part of his IW. It's like, like calm, a regular calm, move. Calm down, Ozzy. Okay, <laughs> uh, change him. Into IW, gonna take the round here. I Ryer trying to stay alive. Rakir looking to close it out here. Good, uh, good shields here from Rakir though. So we're we're happily on our pace. Oh, okay, well, well, we got everything we want. We got a juicy free hit, great break from Ryer. Definitely not gonna win this next cycle. Now we're just gonna do some ignorant stuff. Not if Ryer's able to actually tag Rakir out with the swipe though. Yeah, get some space. Oh, chain oh. shift. Good read. Response with the veil off. Puts him back into the corner. Oh, no, the overhead. Oh. Okay, Ryer fighting back. That's just very, very juicy here for Ryer, able to just burn out this veil off. Yeah, concentrates with the time that he has. Oh, just has a little bit. Just wins the cycle because he was in veil off. Yeah, that is the classic, right? Um, Throw gets teched, CSDP, but obviously we can create that situation from a command grab now. Okay, does not win the cycle. Ryer, uh, low on life, but you know not in resources because we do, we are trying to get some meter. We had to use our change of though, and yeah, gets tagged by 2C, and there it is, Rakir, showing off black. Let me take a look at this here, Akatsuki, Byakia looks like. So, you know, we got a punchy man trying to get in here, and so far, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that round star is sold J6C. That, that is the way. That is the way. He uses the AB Ender. Yeah, I, I like it. One of the other things about the AB Ender is that it does a good amount of damage, actually. 
uh, which is it's quite surprising because it is a universal mechanic, but it is one of the things that really is going to help Akatsuki in that situation yeah. because it's going to give him a great knockdown at the end of his combos. Well, you know, I think you need two is a really good example of being able to, uh, also that, <laughs> uh, really good example of being able to use these kind of beginner friendly mechanics at a high level. Though, yeah. Because right? we also have the, the smart steer. Smart Steer has historically been actually relevant in a lot of situations because it actually adjusts the way you structure your offense. Right. But then now you can hold four, you can hold back, uh, and you can rapid jabs now as a result of that change. Uh, so that, that's been that's been nice. Yeah, Akatsuki's actually was one of the best Smart Steer users in the previous version of the game. The stare down, big black has CS gonna spend it here, but uh, looks like sniffing out something. Okay, tries to. What? Wait a minute. He just got hit by the last. Maybe yeah, I guess it's a low, so. It's yeah, maybe he didn't low. expect it. Or maybe tried to parry it. I don't know. Either way. Well, I want to get a oh. cap there. Okay, big hit, though. Salty gets a confirm. Not quite the finisher, but goes for another hit here. We're looking for it. Big black, though. Yeah, taking the throw. Not going to fall for that. And now we got CS. Finds the hit here. Yeah, that was great defense from Big Black, and then able to win the cycle afterwards. Not getting the full combo hurts. You're not able to combo into your web super. Yeah, it's a good chance here for Salty if he can get out of this corner. Bail off, that's a great way, and we win the cycle. You gotta be careful here. Big Black knows, gets hit, it's gonna hurt. The defense. Found their way out. Oh god, just barely. Salty was correct. Oh. Did see the green shield, but it's just a little too far. It's unfortunate. Another drop combo for Big yeah. Black, but you have him in the corner. The positioning is good, and Salty doesn't have enough meter, so he's waiting for this cycle first before he gets it actually with the grid break. Yeah, this is this is looking a little awkward here. We got we got meter, so we want to make something happen here. 14 seconds on the clock, that tick. If we get a hit here for uh, Big Black, it's gonna be over from time. Uh, next hit is gonna win it probably. Yeah, eight seconds on the clock. You don't actually need to do anything here. Just literally block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tough, tough, tough. Not a lot of not a lot of things could win you the game in that situation, so Salty played it very conservatively yeah. towards the end. Yeah, there's a bunch of uncharacteristic drops from uh from Big Black there. Yeah, it really hurts Biakia, right? Because yeah, you, you really character. need you really need the the full combo. I mean honestly this game is like a lot of that, is if you, if you drop as his character, it's a little awkward. But Okay. Oh, big DP with And next to the corner as well, Big Black just built that 100 meter and he just got the cycle. Here we go. That's the first time we've seen the super in this set so far. Taking it simple with a two web setup here. Oh, oh yeah. that's nice. That's, <laughs> that's very nice. <laughs> it's like, hey, why don't you go up into my web? Thank you. And you get, and since you the web keeps them locked down for so long, you can do that from so far away. So you can even like keep yourself relatively safe and still have the ability to get somebody who's fidgeting. Yeah. Wow. Just Oi. Delay Stanchill for that assault. You love to see it. All right, Big Black looking really good here. Like, pretty gross. We're gonna spend meter or not? Okay. Yeah. Like kind of. Slight delay on that 3C, gonna open up Salty. Yeah, Big Black really finding his flow now. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in classic uh, Byakuya mode right now. Okay, right. we've seen that a lot <laughs> today. How many veil offs on Byakuya website that we've seen? <laughs> At least like three or four. I'm back uh, Shield OS. That one uh, I usually see from Big Black, but a little too far from the punch. That, that's big, yep. I like it. Okay, another uh, up-back shield OS. Oh. Not gonna work out. Very hard combo to pick up. Oi! Jumps right over. Oh, he can kill, right? Yep. Yeah, CBO. Just gonna make sure he's dead. All right. Match point here for Salty. Yeah, Big Black finally found his flow, but then Salty really turned it around with that bail off at the end of the round. That yeah. was a really, really big deal. So now Big Black fighting for his life here. All the assault oh, well, he just wants, gets it. Yeah, he won more I think, from just blocking the assault attack. It's crazy. Oh, wow, catches the back punch, but not far enough. Can't reach. Salty. Great spot here. Uh-oh, we're out of the corner now. And yeah, uh... Big Black relying a lot on this icy 3C. 
Like the way he's structuring the offense seems uh, a lot different than what I'm used to, and it, it, it's not really working out right now. Salty's blocked every single overhead thrown at him, and Wade's just looking for something, looking for the bail off or something. Uh oh, this could be the end here because I, I don't know. Big Black's uh, defense. Not really cutting it right now. Four throws. Okay, in a row. wow. It could caught be talked with the two B though. That's uh, not something you expect to happen. But oh my god. Th that, oh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Salty. Whoa. I think here for people who have been paying attention to uh, two gig, you know, he did play exclusively non-SA basically clear, uh, and now he is back to Carmine, who I think is pretty strong in this version. Um, you know, we actually three of us were talking a lot about this character. Uh, and also, also, I forgot, but you know, gotta gotta, gotta give a shout out to Rurik's sponsor. You know, it's not it's not it's not related to the game, but Trail is peak R RPG, and you should play it. You know, just gotta say that at least once here. Uh, but no, Carmine in this version is looking pretty strong, uh, and it isn't so much the new moves he got as much as it is a system that he really does benefit from. Mm -hmm. Because you you really have to hold it now when he knocks you down. Um, you don't really have as many ways to options like your way out of his his uh, trap Oki. It's really nasty. Of course, his character already did a lot of damage. Right. I mean, he, he was he was a really really strong character uh, in the era where he did tons of damage. They had to, you know they had to really nerf that damage a bit. Uh, so you know the overall volatility of the game really benefits him. Uh, Rurik though so far not really making it easy for Two Gig to to find the hit. He is gonna lose CF though, Ooh. so Two Gig has a billion meter and. Yeah, I mean, that probably is like maybe necessary from that distance to convert. I thought he was gonna maybe 2-2-C or something, but uh, wow! Oh, I'll try to catch yeah. him out of the air with a super, but yeah. it didn't work out. Yeah, it wasn't even the dodge, just the distance. Yuzu's uh, new 2-FF in the combo. Very funny looking move. <laughs> I'm a fan. Really like this like casual non-kill spend of IW because it does so much more damage now. Yeah, that it, it is totally valuable, and you're gonna get the meter back. Yep. Okay, and yeah, two, he could not find the hit there. He was ready to try and close it out, but in the end, Rurik taking the first round. It was going to time too, like 15 yeah. seconds on the clock, so gotta do something. That'll happen a lot, especially against players like Rurik who are down to hold at full oh. screen for a little bit. But Rurik finds the per first big hit in the second round. Yeah, the trade with the the pin, the up pinwheel for two gig actually, you know, he is more plus. But since Yuzu gets teleport, it goes full screen. Just wasn't ready for that situation. Oh, gets reset in the middle of there. Yeah. CSIW. It's gonna put it a very close one touch situation off anything. Two gig just down backing that two FF. Two gig looking to try and just land any hit here. But you really gotta be careful against a character like Yuzu, right? I mean, full screen, sword slashes. Tries Oy, to roll, but tried to roll. unfortunately, I mean, you're, you're still in stance there. So you, you roll yeah. the slash, and looks like you, you really aren't able to make that work out. Yeah, I really like that Rook actually just held his ground towards the end there. Tried to find that last hit, wasn't going too crazy. Understood that the life lead was the best thing for him, and Carmine does do a lot of damage. So just held his ground towards the end, and yeah. uh, that's, a, that's the first big win for him. I mean, we didn't really get to see it, but you know that Inside, Chigig is knows that he just needs that one hit. He's gonna right, make exactly. Turn around, yeah, like one hit, and you get to go into messed up Oki. You can actually just delete this character. So there's a lot of patience on Two Gig's part. Like he knows he doesn't really need uh, to reach too much here, but ah, uh, I'm not sure if he couldn't get more than that. I guess there's uh, like a jab star, but Oki, oh, oh, what's going on here? We still have chain shift, but just gonna force our turn here. A lot of defense from Rurik. Okay, okay. Yeah, Rurik bl blocked everything. Yeah, and is gonna get a ton of meter from that. Oh, and still be able wow. to play cycle, gets a big hit here, wins the cycle right afterwards. Great position for Rurik to be in. He's gonna get a really strong mix up here. Whoa! Yeah, um, still just playing patient here. Just knows that, hey, we're Yuzu. Uh, we don't have to do too much here. Just keep this guy from, <laughs> from doing anything and we'll eventually close out the round. Chain shift for uh, two gigs, but what is going on there? Yeah, okay. That's like, uh, yeah, what do you normally do there? But hey, uh, EXDP, of course. Oh no, the drops! Oy. What is going on? It's spaghetti. Credit to Ruig, though. Picked it up immediately, like, yeah. drop and immediately knew what to do. That's gonna be match point. Oh no. Not capitalize on this. Two gig. We have yet to see him land a single full confirmed. Not sure what is going on here. But 
Uh, Rurik, glad to see that, right? He's got CS now, can do whatever he wants again. Oh my god. There it is. Okay, shield punishes the stance jump. Okay, here we go. Sets two bombs. And yep, you are not going to be able to do anything for a while here. Oh. That's a low. That's a low. So that looks <laughs> stupid, but <laughs> it does look really stupid. Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Actually blew through it with the invincibility. That works. Holy. I can't believe that works. Okay. Yeah. Again, one touch situation. CS. Oh, nice block. I really like 2FFCS. It seems so useful as a way to just stuff everything. Like, you, you can't CS. You, I mean, you can't. Uh, yeah. He, he figured out that much Gordo that quickly. Yeah. His Gordo looked really clean. So, has he done the same for Elmum? Has he put the same amount of time? Let's see. Yeah. And uh, Defiant playing Lawn. Some of them uh, at least now playing this character quite a lot. So, I I'm not sure how much. They've been uh, they've been on this character in Uni Two, but it looks like they're feeling really comfortable with it. Uni Two player though, uh, we got everything here. We got the reload. We got the CS. So what are we gonna do here? That's the new move. Oh, she just has to kill jump to C now. Oh, it's it, no. Excuse me. It's V Xion six C, dude. <laughs> Hello. My bad. I'm sorry. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's from another game. It's, it's her move. Okay. Let's let's let's, let's be respectful the, the here. Melty character. <laughs> Let's be respectful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let, let, let's see what we got going on here. We got Defiant trying to trying to make something happen, but oh wow. Yeah, at least uh, not counter anything. But yeah, the EX Rain is covering everything. I like it. Oh, I wasn't is, able to win cycle though. Yeah, Lon, Lon, Lon is definitely a pretty interesting character. It's, okay. Yeah, it's cool you to see how to. many people are playing Wandrakia now because that character unfortunately got released with Claire and then it yeah. went into the pandemic. So it took a really long time for the character to develop and then credit to Fox have put a yeah. lot of time into developing the tech for the character. Yeah, Fox have definitely was like the main one repping this character during Clear. But I think the overall opinion seemed to be a lot of people think that he was a little underwhelming of a character. But obviously we got we got some more toys to play with here and it's Uni2, it's a new game. And uh, Defiant thinks, you know, ready to rock with his character. And, Takes the round. It'll just be really cool to see this character get a lot of reps in, yeah. you know, and, and really start fleshing out the game uh, with a lot more players playing the character as well. Yeah. I mean, I think we're going to see this character in tournament is also uh, pretty spooky to run into because the visual effects on this character are just kind of kind of spooky. <laughs> You're like, what is going on here? I hope I, I hope you player knows. A lot of down backing, yeah, pretty confident, down backing. but finally gets that big hit. Defiant, persistence over resistance, but wasn't able to get the full combo. Immediately CSs to see what's going on. Wow. I, I backdash the gap between 60 and Gunshot. That's something I haven't seen before. And okay. Uh-oh. Not going to work out. Defiant takes the game. Looking really clean. E2 player. Relying a lot on 6C so far this set, and it hasn't really been working out. Defiant's been pretty good at uh, just reacting to it with Stand Shield, and then even if you can't get a punish, it takes your turn. It's been working out pretty well for them, so. Great reaction after Defiant got hit with Gunshot. Just immediately pressed buttons because they knew they could. So yes, pressure. Oh, whoa. Oh. Like a late stance that came out there, unfortunately, for Uni 2 player. And they're going to be in trouble here. Like, we, we watched Carmine just now, but, uh, you know, Defiance on Draca is looking kind of similar. It's like, hey, hey you know, you see the pattern here. Yeah, it's a lot, like a lot of characters winning today. Defiant has gone to the corner almost every single time, and then that's it. Like, once they've gotten to the corner, the game's been over. And also, it's uh, worth noting Defiance using great use out of uh, 4 AAA. You know, that is a new thing you can do. Well, I mean, you could do it before, but it involves holding up, which means you don't really get a combo if it hits them most right. of the time. Uh, so now it's just so much easier to use, and I, I really like that uh, Define it's showing a great off. Change. Yeah. yeah. It's very useful for characters that are looking for, uh, who don't have tons of, like, offensive string options, so yeah. you're able to keep those options open. We've got, obviously, a billion blocks of grid to, to play with here. So we got to make something happen, you need to player. Let's, let's do it. I haven't really seen that much, but the best shot we've seen from them in this set, like, yeah. let, let, let's, let's, let's kill this person. I'm saying that respectfully. 
No. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, no! Oh. Gets some stuff. Wow! Was, I, I could tell that with a the dash to your soul, but... Oh, man, that's that's unfortunate for Yuji player. It was looking really good. Does block the high. Oh, God. Oh, no. Goes for the OS. Air throw. What are you doing? It's the first time we, we've seen it. And Defy very right to stuff it. Clean. Very, very yeah. clean. Even in the round where he lost most of his health. Arc, Arc World Tour uh, interview clip, right? He's, he was saying that uh, the NA passion for the game is a, is a big inspiration uh, to Uni Gang where it is today. And I think our job here is to, you know, to keep that going, right? It's like we're, we're really showing uh, our love for the game and the players here too. Like, everyone loves this game. And right now we got Mocha versus JDR. So, uh, we're just going to be swinging. I, I don't got too much more to say about this. It's like, <laughs> both both players want to just, you know, run him and run away. You know, ob obviously, I, I probably is the one that kind of does not really want to uh, be in this bat spot here. But uh, right now, Mocha says, I think, uh, think still alive, but feeling pretty good here. Oh my god, wake up shield from JDR. Not going to work out. Mocha is kind of run over JDR in this first round. Yikes. I want to say, little thing that I like, you know when you win cycle and you get that bar on the side with your character? It's cool. It's cool, right? It has your color, character color yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, more importantly, not only does it have your character color, it shows your eye color, bro. That, that's some <laughs> important tech. Yeah, I don't know if people know that the, uh, usually in the color custom colors, which we have now, which is awesome. It's awesome. It's like there's usually like one little color option. Yeah. It barely does anything, like maybe changes the color of your shoes, but it also changes like uh, your eye color and uh, sometimes your skin tone too, right? Right. So yeah, for the cut in though, it's key. Key. It's important, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Gotta, this is an anime game through and through. We gotta make sure people understand that. They know anime Street Fighter. All right, Mocha. <laughs> Mocha looking really good in this first round here. But what an assault for JDR just gets out of the corner, but Mocha with a chase down. Whoa. Where are you going? 1-0. Uh, Mocha's, you know, Ma contemplating, he's he's meditating here. He's in the zone. He's in <laughs> massively, the zone. Yeah. And what's funny is he's playing massively aggressive, right? Yeah, he's getting good. into JDR's face. It's, I mean, it's, it's the meme of like the ca the most disgusting, evil cancer character <laughs> played by like the nicest dude in your scene. Who, you know, wouldn't yeah. harm a kitten. Yeah. You know. Do you know how many times that happens? Like the nicest people in the world in this scene are like the most disgusting players. You gotta vent it somehow, I'm sure, right? You, <laughs> you gotta vent. Repress. <laughs> yeah, repress dark energy. Repress dark energy. I don't know. Um, yeah, not much to say so far. It's just really been all Mocha. JDR really struggling to find something happen. And the thing is, like, uh, you know, JDR, a very aggressive high player. And, um, you know, I've I definitely seen him have a struggle with characters that keep him out. But right. this is kind of a situation of, like, you know, if we're both going to spin our arms and, and not stop, it's like, right. well, Akatsuki kind of comes out ahead in that sense. If, if these two characters are playing in the mud, which yeah. one comes out on top? And yeah. it's definitely Akatsuki. Yeah, it's. Yeah, definitely a gorilla. I think Hyde's a bit of a gorilla too. Wake up roll, no, oh that's not gonna God. happen here. And that was like a throw. I think Mocha probably saw that. Uh, Vio though, so that's a small change by the way. Um, some people wondering, uh oh. Uh, maybe could he cancel? I don't know. Um, could a laser cancel me? I don't know. Uh, but Vio is a little bit faster. Uh, oh my God, ADPC has. We, we still got meter, yep, let's use it. Everyone's favorite Hyde block string. The chase down from the back there, so where are you going? I actually did that so many times during this set. Just I've seen Fern uh, on stream, but definitely I feel like I've commentated a lot of YP smashes. <laughs> Still right in Batista. Hear a lot of people in the, in the crowd cheering for Fern, though, so we'll see. I like the color. It's a great Hilda color. Um, Fern, Rock and Hilda. So Hilda Batista is probably the most like discussed matchup of all time in terms of... <laughs> In terms of like, this is the epitome of an even matchup because both players, uh, both characters think that they're losing the matchup. So it, mean, it means it's gotta be. Even. Oh, it's six four both ways. Yeah, it's definitely six. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 six six four four. You know. Yeah, uh, you have flash kick. Where you, no no fifty fifty for you. Full screen. Uh, for people, I feel like I just said this in like every version, but you know, like this matchup is is a little bit of a weird one because. Um, it's, it's like a lot of Zoner versus Zoner. Sometimes it's tempo oriented. If you can, right. uh, whoever like makes the other guy block, you can make it a little bit harder to use. But the thing is, since uh, Hilda doesn't need charge to control the screen, um, Hilda presents some situations that Batista doesn't normally like. You know, right. because she does actually have to respect uh, some of these full screen options. Yeah, it's a matchup where both characters can do something meaningful yeah. at full screen, yeah. right? So it's very difficult. You're constantly thinking about whether they're going to do something or they're not going to do something. Yeah, we see Fern just uh, blocking these lasers and moving forward to threaten to be in dash range. 
very patient, patient play. Yeah, I mean, hey, we only need one tap. And actually, we're going to win from time if uh, Fern doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Like, this is... You're feeling really good on Batista in this situation. Yeah. All right. We got a lot of meter, too. Like, hold up. <laughs> a clean sweep reverse we pick up here, though, from White Beast. So, uh, we're going to see some meter dump or nope. It's Oki. I, I have a feeling White Beast wants to save it for just, uh, you know, maybe some EX laser business or... I don't know. We're going we're to find out here. But Fern, good hit here. She's uh, in a good position. Yeah, dump some meter. Yep. Nice walk. Doesn't see us. Uh oh, Oy. no! God! <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's a. Uh, this is a, quite a disaster there. Uh, White Beast, though. Yep. We're going to spend some meter. We've got Chain Shift. The setup. Uh oh, just Oy. gets hit. Yeah, wow. And White Beast very ready to pick that up. Okay, very nice. <laughs> I like Fanning it. I like themselves it. off like they did just have two really clean yeah. rounds. Well, I don't, I think maybe White Beast didn't think that uh, oh, they're going to be in the corner. Yeah, so the, yeah, yeah. the pick up into Air FF into EX to, to finish it off was was really clutch if, if it was ad libbed. Good stuff. Very clean early on. Yeah. White Beast. Uh, just kind of getting the better of the neutral situations more often than not. And Fern is doing quite well on defense, but the problem is that just their conversion or their just the amount of times that they're playing in neutral, White Beast is coming out on top more often than not. All right, White Beast's turn here. Great defense for Fern. Oh, just barely with Cycle though, nice. Uh, didn't even need Green Shield, just uh, Fern down backing for the win. Tried to snipe. Yeah, unfortunately didn't work out. That's huge. Oh, that's a punish. <laughs> I think there's gonna reach, honestly, but okay, we're just diving with JC. A little bit too far to get the pickup. Reaching quite a bit here, but uh oh. All right, back spike starter for Fern. I'd like to see uh, maybe some Oki here. We can get this to work here. Yep, okay. Ooh. God, a nice response. Put some in no, the corner. Going That's still it. Okay. Ah! What? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Batista player's nightmare. Roll through the dash normal, though. Uh, didn't really end up work paying off, but you know, I think that's interesting. Set up once again, goes yes. well this time. Oh, we don't have a meter, but let's see what we got here. Sets up the gloom. Right spot. Yeah, Earns White pressure Beast, again. Just with the dash block, knowing he has to be careful. Spends the meter, so we're out of gas for Fern, but like, you know, one HP to dream here for White Beast, but we do have so much meter that, I don't know, we're gonna do the curtain, like, we're going to do something funny. Oh, finally got it. I really like how Fern played that. They actually CS'd really early to get the meter. Yes. And it was like, OK, if I can still play Cycle because I CS so early in it. Yeah, uh, Fern had tried EX Spike like twice before it didn't work out, but still believed, still knew it would work uh, if Batista is low enough there. So working out, OK. Like, he's looking good right now. Like, we have all of the resources. Oh, god. Attack. Yeah, unfortunately, not the first time we've seen people uh, not delay enough and unfortunately get a the early yellow throw, but nice shield on the back spike to the wind cycle. Fortunate for preferred. Yeah, CS is early in the cycle, but still has that 200 meter. It's definitely something that they're using. As oh a scary my god! Thing hits with the backside. <laughs> that move is so funny. All right. Well, this works out. Uh, Fern being very respectful, like does not want to eat a DP. Okay, here we go. Pressure continues, goes high again. Oh, no. All right, so White Beast with the blocks though. Like to see it. Wow. Okay, finally. <laughs> uh, if not once or twice, then surely the third time. Ooh, doesn't finish the combo though. There's a chance. Yeah. Gets a throw. Yeah, I mean, understandably. Fern's been pretty confident in just down backing a lot of the pressure that White Beast has done so far. So White Beast really had to try something to Whoa. crack it up. And yeah, that, that, that's basic. Just, just barely for Fern. Yeah, I think the main thing is that Fern's really been second guessing themselves on the Oki a lot. Gives, has been given up a lot. Uh, this round though is paying off. So, you know, I can't really criticize it because it did right. bait the EXDP there. Um, uh oh, what, what's going on? Yeah, Hold up. You're, dead, no, you're dead, right? You're dead. You're dead. All right. Good cleanup, and we're tying it up one to one. Yeah, Fern, that's got to feel good because I think yeah. Fern's gotten a lot of info. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to feel out White Beast on defense. Feel like uh, she's been really just 
feeling out. Not not really committing, over committing on, on offense. And now, now you win after getting a late info. Yeah. Now we're in game three. Got to be feeling pretty comfortable about that at least. A lot more so at least in this game. Fern's gone, or sorry, White Beast has blocked high on all four. Yeah, got hit uh, low the, like the, the one, one time. time yeah. right? Yeah. But like when, now that's like, it's kind of the fighting game thing. It's like you went high four or okay, I, so you blocked high no, four no, no, times. No, no, it's, no. It's, it's, it's even deeper than that. High is better than low against Batista because you burned the, the down charm. Right. right. So, like, there's a little bit of weight to it. And so, you know, it's like, this is the better option. But because it's the better option, you know, uh, White Beast has, has been uh, guessing on it. So, you know, maybe we'll see Fur just go low some more. It is one thing. Obviously, like... Yeah, it's weighted. Yeah. But the, this, uh, the other decision it obviously means hits, right? So. Yeah, it, it's definitely small. Oh, my God. Counter throw. It's our turn still. Whoa, no! Oh, Jeez! Went too far! That's a... Okay, went low. Yeah, it hit. And we, ha we have some meter to burn. No! No! Oh, oh no. That, that's uh, that's oh, probably that death here. Yeah, if it's been meter, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that double hurts because you were in Veil off, too. Uh... It's a, it's a week one tournament. It is a week one Showing. tournament. It is a week one tournament, yeah, for sure. I, I don't know if that's like air FF mobility changing that makes it so that you can uh, kind of accidentally go over that. Oh, is it like faster or moves uh, I, I don't know, because I feel, I feel like that's something that you normally don't do on accident. So I don't know, maybe it is just unchanged and you just uh, messed up our DI there a little bit, but I feel like I like, haven't really seen that, that input happen. Okay, Bird getting a little, you know, more willing to take more risks, eats a flash kick forward, but uh, two two. Yeah, see, guys are here. It is. Is it low? Low, 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 low. Yes, <laughs> you love to see it. They definitely kept it in mind. Now they've gone low twice in a row, and it's worked out both times. Burns on set point. I think the big thing would be just. It would be really funny if uh, she just only went low from here on out. <laughs> Classic Hilda. Uh oh. Um, yeah, just go open up with a down down. It is low. All right, what's it gonna be here? Hi! Uh, not the rock, right rock, the, the rock rock scissors! Not the rock rock scissors! <laughs> but unfortunately, wasn't able to get the full combo Oh my there. god! Oh, jeez! Went for the big yeah. DP! It doesn't pay White, out! White Beast felt it. Hi again. This time, White Beast gets their turn, but really needs to make something. We haven't seen like a single. B drill or anything from White Beast, like I mean, uh, you know, Hilda's not the only character that gets to do high lows here. Right. So I do have to ask what's going on here from White Beast said. Celestial on the side of White Beast. Like we, we really only see like oh my god. That's it. Is that has the hundred meter? That might yeah, be it. You got it. You yes. got it right. Yeah. Okay. And Bird, good stuff. Each other at kind of the mid far range. So we'll see. It, it's going to come down to just, yeah, who's the better strike thrower, I guess. Uh, great control, obviously, a thing here, but... Yeah, I, it, it gives you the chance to mess up while the opponent doesn't have that, uh, which I think is really important. So I think... The, the footsies! <laughs> that was actually footsies! That was actually yeah. footsies. But I think winning the first cycle is a big deal in this matchup. Oh, wow. Oh, nice whoa. Whoa. I, I, I like that he did the no cancel. Oh, wow. I tried to go for aim there, but star underscore. Uh, get the, the juicy anti-air. Okay. <laughs> Immediate veil hop. Yeah, I, I like meter in this. Uh, in this. Oh my Whoa. god. Okay, so he's going for uh, <laughs> tricky, I think stuff, he, tricky I, stuff. I think he calls it the air and anchor, but I really, I, I don't want to <laughs> enable him. I don't want to enable him to bust you. Oh, fuzzy five A. Yep. And tried to go for the empty assault into command grab, but oh, speaking of anti-airs though. Back and forth here. We got Vorpal here though for our score. Wow, what a backdash. Yeah, backdash into the corner. Okay. Eat this, but you know, it's not too much damage. Uh-oh. Yeah, not blocking on wake up though. That's gonna cost you the round. Alright, Star takes the first round. Yeah, good back and forth. Star finding a couple more wins. Spends it on the plus Whoa. race. Nice chase down on the yeah, backdash. That was cerebral. Love to see it here. Yeah, Deep has shown that they're backdashing in a lot of situations, so just great read from Star. Pressure in the corner. Bail off, off again! And, and with the concentrate, very nice. Yeah, and get the dump off. That is juicy. Oh, that's that great. Great two wins from Deep's here. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, he jumped back. Yo, what was going on? Whoa! <gasps> what, what is going on? <laughs> oh my god, the assault catches the backdash. Okay, well, it was a bit delayed. What is going on? End up being a gold throw, just backdash actually. 3C. 
Okay. Star is going to probably win CS here. Oh, yeah. reads the veil off. Little. Has done it too many times. Yes. Oh, oh no! Oh, wait, are you dead? dead? No, no, you're not dead. You're no, not no, dead. No, no, no. Oh, wait! No, 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 he's, no. Like, he's fine, 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 right? 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 <laughs> Gotta be fine here. Maybe. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure! Oh, oh my god! Oh! Okay, what, 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 was that jab starter? I forget what the start I think was. It was 5A starter. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, that, that drop actually cost him that. Oh, he had CVO2. Yeah. It was so easy. Yeah, deep, good, good fuzzy 5A though from Deeps. Uh, starting to try again. That, that's not going to work if he's consistent about it. Reads the EX to Sim. Yeah, Star's All going right. for the EX to Sim every single time. So that was just a good He's got read. 50 meter again. So are we baiting here? What are we doing? Oh, Deep's got like one more hit. He's dead. Oh, the reset. Resets. Uh, the double over gets blocked. Oh, no. All right. Miss space here from Deeps. And now Star with the sword. So he drops a combo. Yeah, but Deeps has been pressing buttons. Either pressing buttons or bail offing every single the time. Oh, my oh. God. And the 2C just goes for it. He believes. Oh, it's easy. Yeah. Easy finisher. OK. 1-0. Uh, what is going on? It, messy, 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 messy. Bro. Uh, Dave's just collecting the gifts from heaven, dude. Like, he, he got away with so much. All Star needs to do is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. Oh, uh, oh, he gave up. He gave up. It's over. <laughs> I was just saying, no way. No it, it way. Was like you have to tell yourself in that no situation, way. dude. Yeah. You can't get told like that because he, he should have won. That's what I'm saying. Is you have to t you have to give yourself oh my the God. confidence and be like, I, I won I, that. I cannot believe this is happening. I just had a I had a mistake. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> the decisions are there. But no, Star, uh, Star's done with it, obviously. Right. So, so, so we'll see. Star, you know, we don't we haven't seen it, so I'm not gonna say anything about Star's Biakia. I mean, uh oh, that's not a good start. But you know, I mean, that was a, that was a salt read from Deeps, right? You, you can't really blame him. All right, uh uh uh, a sim. We got CS. Pressure. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Going mids. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be block high. <laughs> TKA aim. Plus frames. Backs back away from it. Wow. One more time. What a time. All right. Well, obviously we're gonna lose CS here, but mm. that's juicy. Right, yeah, well, this is it. gonna hurt. Oh, stars. Got these confirms. Yep. One, two, Whoa, three. One point three into setup. Oh, trying to bait. Yeah, but you know, deeps. Oh god, that's scary. Uh oh, gets hit by FF. Nice confirm too. Uh, doesn't even need a CS. All right. Actually, he did I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the round. No way. All right, the character swap paying off so far. It might be a simplification in Star's brain that maybe is helping him out. They're I not mean, as like. I mean, he's dropped less combos so far <laughs> with with Yakia than Gordo. So, you know, that's one thing to say. Desi. Oh, punish. punish. Yep. All right. Yeah, one cycle. Yep. I mean, gotta, gotta respect Re Reaper here if you want it. The footsies, though, shuffling back and forth. I like this uh, assault usage here from, from Deep, though. So, you know, 2B two, two is like one of the, the more preferred uh, poke options for Byakuya. Yeah, we, we just want the cash out here. Yeah, it's early in the cycle, right? So you can just oh, start no, playing it again. Oh, no, back throw. Yeah. Oh! oh. Yeah, Deeps has been very aggressive on defense. He's actually either pressed buttons or veiled off most of the time. Yeah. And uh, Star just made a good read on that one. All right. Oh, yeah, I got hit. Yeah, that was dirty. That was dirty. Nasty. Understandable. Uh, he's going to eat another one here, too. He has so much meter here for Star. Just going to get that last bit to play the cycle. OK. Nice gold tech. Oh, my god. Lock on the overhead. Backs up afterwards. Has cycle though. No way! Uh, Not the command ground! Yeah. He's alive! No, he didn't have the meter! He's still alive. Oh! Oh, when cycle the left side. Jab, second. jab. Okay, one, 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 one. Shake his head. <laughs> Shake his head like, man. Like, freaking, freaking Gordo mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is. Dude, this is so good. This is so good. If only, if only Deeps had a Byakuya. If only Deeps had a Byakuya. Oh, here. God. If only. Yeah, all right. That was a fist bump yeah. from Star, but he didn't it look happy a, but, still. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not like happy with it. I, I mean, okay, I'm not I'm not happy either if I'm him right now, okay? Like, this, this is, he's, he's fighting his demons, okay? <laughs> his demons like, being himself. Like, yeah, I mean, Star's definitely like the main character of, of this arc. 
And Dave Davis being the villain here. Nice tech. I mean, I don't think, again, he wanted the yellow, but that's fine. Oh, oh. no! A little bit too early to be done on Wake Up, and yeah. Star's what? gonna take advantage. Yeah, wow. See his throw. So, Star. <gasps> what is going on? No. Okay. Yeah, Deep's really confident to just throw out Grim Reapers if he has meter. Win cycle once again. Oh, wow. And that was too slow, yeah. Yeah, great read of Star. Just slips right underneath there. How's the 100 meter now? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I feel like actually Deep's had the right read that Star was trying to do something, but just missed base ever so slightly. Yeah, the CS here, not really that great. You don't have to be afraid of anything if, uh, if Cordeau doesn't have 100 meter, right? We have no mirrorless DP here, so uh, we're spending a lot of our meter. And Star knows, only needs really one hit to make this into a really good game, but that does not give... Oh, okay! Taste of his own medicine, what, what attack? Whoa! It's Hardest what, read! Wait, no, why? Why? Wait, why Why be there? Was this read on, like, Jump OS? But Star hasn't shown that yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did he literally just press the wrong button in his brain? I, ha I have to think so. Hit B into A? Oh, no. I have to think so. It's unfortunate. We are getting, I mean, this is set point for Star. He's turned it around. Yeah. Okay, jab. Pressure here at Zantech. Not going to work out. All right, Star. Oh, my god. Oh, these drop combos hurt, and they hurt even more, Viakia. What is this? Oh, he got, he got that. Oh, he won Vorpal for that. Oh, he won Cycle. This is rough. No way. Oh, my god. What a read. That's like the first time he's assaulted in so long, and it was specifically uh, for jumping CS over. CS the reset. Jab, oh. wait, he wait. He challenged. He challenged. Wait. Okay, the set, the set up, the set. What the? You're literally. Oh my God! No! Why? What did you? Why? What the hell? No way! No! <laughs> All right, this is this is scripted. Not like this. This is scripted, right? Oh. <laughs> that scene, we don't get to confirm, but the here... The hero has to go through his biggest fall before his high is high. Oh my god. Uh, th this is not looking good here for Star Oh, this out. is going to hurt. Oh my god. Yeah. I, just, I just hope Star's mental is okay from that because, um, I mean, is, is he going to bail off here? What's going to be? Oh, that! Oh, wait, why the trade? Why the trade? Why the trade? Oh, Oi, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's yeah. it, right? And that's and going to be it. He is not happy. Waiting for the fist bump. Good sportsmanship still.